Uh, you touched on Creeping Kelleher's situation. Yeah. It does look like the only real options the club have right now to move on are himself and Nat Phillips. And they're the two names that are probably going to be doing the rounds over the next few months with a view to potentially selling them. Like Nat Phillips, it's straightforward for me. You sell them, you bring in another centre back in the summer, maybe, or down the line. But with Cuivin, well, as Irishmen, not only are we a little bit emotionally invested in this, but then we have the whole point of maybe losing a really good backup goalkeeper. So here's what I'd like to see, Paddy. If Liverpool were to sell Cuivin Kelleher, I would rather take a smaller amount of money but put in a buyback clause in there, a realistic buyback clause for two or three seasons that we could bring him back in for X amount because mm. we don't know. Alisson most likely will be fine for the next three, four, five years. But if Cuivin goes and continues the progression that we've seen at Liverpool, he's going yeah. to be a fine goalkeeper. Absolutely. I think we no one has any kind of doubts over Cuivin and his, his abilities as a goalkeeper. Um, and listen, if we're being selfish, we'd want to keep him as our backup to have a very sturdy backup because God knows we've had enough, tr you know, strife with goalkeepers. But I think for his career and his, you know, his, you know, for him to go to that next level, for him to claim the the Irish number one, because him and Gavin Bazunu are going to be in a serious battle throughout their careers because they're both top quality. But when when, when Gavin Bazunu is getting week in, week out football, that's a big difference. So. I think it's best for his career to move on, but I think it's very shrewd from us to, as you said, include a, a buyback option. Um, but yeah, no, I think it's best for him. And, you know, we can we can pursue with Alisson and then, you know, maybe look at graduating uh, Pidaluga, who has been doing good stuff for Macclesfield Town. He's still been training with the club. He's Brazilian. He's in there with Claudio Taffarel and Alisson. So I think we can look to nurture him now and, you know, it just makes it's a logical step. I wouldn't. I, I would be sad to see him go. It's always nice to have as many Irishmen on the books for us as, as possible. But for his career, I think he needs it. And we could get a, we could get a tidy twenty million sum. I would say. What would you think? Yeah, I mean, market value. I would say probably yeah, seventeen to twenty two and a half. Hmm. Um, but I would I would take fifteen if it meant a realistic buyback clause put in yeah. there for the club to maybe access them, um, with maybe something built in that if we don't, there is an appearance clause that might trigger some more add-ons or something like that. I don't know, complicated stuff, but I do agree with you that for his own career, he's in a difficult point right now because he needs to move on. He needs to play. Absolutely. And not only does he need to play just for his own, just because, you know, he's good now, but you can get even better with regular minutes and just learning more and more. And, you know, you you learn on the job, you learn, but I know he's learning a lot under Alisson, but, you know, you need to play. And as much as the cup games are good and all that, but yeah, it's for his career, he needs to move on. Gavin Bazunu, he moved from City to uh, Southampton for £12 million. And given the experience Cuivin has, what he's won, his penalty shootout for us, you could easily get £20 million for Cuivin Keller. And uh, I don't, we don't need to sell him. You know, we don't want to sell him. But if, if, he, if he wants to move, we might as well cash in. Yeah, it's, it's tough, Paddy, because I don't think this is necessarily going to be a Liverpool pushing this to try and raise funds. Because I know mm -hmm. some people are going to try and pitch it that way. I honestly think this was a conversation that was going to have to take place between Cuevy and Klopp and the club one way or the other. And mm -hmm. whatever people think about the valuation we've put on him, and some people think he's a little bit high, um, or that valuation is a little bit high, you are talking about a club with probably the best goalkeeping coaching setup you could get in Europe. Like you've got Tafarel, Alisson, Akterberg, uh, Pidalu, like very, very, very high-level coaching going on there. So Cuevy has learned it from the very best. Yeah, the, I mean the goalkeeper union at Liverpool is great. You know, they there's a there's a a massive you know importance placed on that. You know, at the training ground they have the goalkeeper union wall. Every goalkeeper's ever won a major trophy. There's a a pink thing of them all up there. So yeah, it's it's. I think I think Liverpool have learned from the mistakes of the past on having dare we say fraudulent goalkeepers. Um, <clears throat> carries Adrian. <clears throat> Adrian. <clears throat> Adrian. Adrian is the king of that. So yeah, no. First, I think it's a great price. Um, and uh, if, if people have actually watched him and scouted him, he's a, he's, a, he's a fantastic goalkeeper. I don't think he has a real weakness. I think he's he's a really really good goalkeeper. I does. He looks a bit too much like Connor. That's the only weakness yeah. I can find. Yeah, I mean that's a, I mean fucking hell. Talk about getting a, getting really down in your luck. <laughs> only joke for most two. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, Tom Tom and Tomer. <laughs> <laughs> 